Hey, what's up guys? This is ZK and today I'm starting a tutorial on how to create a Nazi Zombies map for World at War on the PC. This is going to be an awesome tutorial. I know a lot of people have wanted this for a long time, so I've started advertising it and now here's video 1. All right, so this is video is going to be covering to install I can't talk today. Ugh. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to install the mod tools. Now, uh, before you, we start getting into all this stuff, I, I need you to think about a couple of things first. Um, coming into this, you need to know that this is going to take lots of time. Uh, building a zombies map takes an incredible amount of time, effort, and, you know, it's just a huge project. And don't come into here thinking it's going to take you two or three hours. Because, I mean, even creating a tiny little one-room map takes a long time, especially if you've never done it before. Um, for me, it would probably take me like a half an hour. But for you, since you're coming into this not knowing what you're doing, it's going to take you a long time. So, uh, um, yeah, that's not just something to think about. And remember that there's going to be some frustration involved. Things aren't going to work right, and you're going to have to mess with it and keep keep going until you get it to work right because of errors. Because, I mean, you're going to get errors, and you're going to just have to figure out a way to get around them. All right, so... Uh, now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this. So, uh, first of all, obviously when you start, you're going to need the actual Call of Duty World at War game. Uh, which would be that. And all the other main and zone and all that stuff. You're going to need the actual Call of Duty World at War game. Um, you can use the cracked version. You can use the cracked version if you want to. But you can't play co-op that way, which kind of stinks. So you can't play co-op on your super awesome custom maps so uh, I would recommend just buying the real game if you don't have it alright and uh, you, obviously it, system requirements wise if you can play Call of Duty World at War on your computer your system meets the requirements obviously a faster system is going to mean that you're compiling the map a lot faster and your programs will run much smoother but uh, you know other than that uh, you can just play it Okay, so uh, first thing you're going to need to do, obviously, is you're going to need to download the mod tools, which are right there. Uh, that's about a gigabyte and 100 megabytes, something like that, 1.1 gigabytes. Uh, that'll take you about an hour and a half to download, depending on your download speed, unless you have Cable 1. If you have Cable 1, then you'll download it instantly. Well, not not literally instantly, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so uh, you download that. All the links for the downloads are in the description. So you need the mod tools, and uh, then you're going to need... The updates 1.1, 1.2, 1.2.1, 1.3, and 1.4. And you can just extract them just like I did like right here. And when you open them up, it'll look like this. So what you're going to want to do is uh, take the mod tools. You're going to extract that. And inside will be a million folders. They'll like go down to here. So you'll have like 20 folders and then some applications and stuff like that. You just want to take those, copy and paste them into your Call of Duty World at War directory, which would be in Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty World at War. So instead of having just Main, PB, Docs, and Zone, you'll get all these other folders in here. So these are the these are the Mod Tools folders. Now, uh, let me go back. Then you're going to need to take Mod Tools 1.1, and you're going to need to copy and paste everything in there. Like, I mean... Like when you open it, when you extract it, it'll give you a folder like this. You want to open it up and extract this kind of stuff into it. So you don't want to extract this folder. You want to in extract all these folders because they need to be like this. So if I just took this and copied it and then went all the way over to Activision, Call of Duty World, or and pasted it in here, then I just get that folder. You don't want to do that. You want to paste in the contents of that folder, okay? So now, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, you need to do them in order. So 1.1, and then 1.2, then 1.2.1, then 1.3, and then 1.4. And you also need Nazi Zombie Tutorial, also in the description. Download that and paste it in after the 1.4 update. So paste that in also, and then you can paste in Script Placer, and you can put that in the World at War directory, or you can put it on your desktop, or, you know, wherever you want to. It doesn't matter where you put that because that's just the, a script placer that you're going to need to be able to create your map files. Okay, so once you've done that, open up bin, and all these folders, in, or I mean all these things in here that say application, you see all these applications, not the application extension, or the text documents, or anything like that, just the applications. You want to right-click, hit Properties, Compatibility, 
If you're running Windows 7, you might need to click this. I don't need to for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I don't need to. Uh, you may need to click that and run it in Windows XP Service Pack 3. Um, and you definitely need to run it as administrator. So make sure all these are run as administrator and make sure that your game is running as administrator too. And yeah, I think that's it for that. So uh, let's open up Launcher. Um, so this is going to be your main base for creating your maps. Uh, here you've got your compiling your levels. Here you can build the mod. You can, uh, you know, whatever, to build the mod so the game knows how to run your game. And over here you can run the game, which you don't necessarily need to do, but it's kind of handy. Um, and then Radiant is going to be our main program that we'll be using to edit the map, but I'll show you that in the next video when we start mapping. Um, yeah, so when you come into here, you need to click this converter button. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do, and it'll say blah, 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 converting this and that out of 1 out of 49, and then 2 out of 49, and blah, 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 and just wait till that gets done. It'll take about 6 or 7 minutes, I think. It, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM on here, and it took eight, yeah, 7 minutes, I think, to, to do that. So, uh, once you've done that, you are ready to move on to video number 2. And that will be the end of video number one, installing the mod tools. Make sure you do it exactly the way I told you, and everything should work right. If you have an error, uh, don't leave it in the comments, because if you leave it in the comments, then it, like, it, YouTube doesn't always tell me every comment that I get, so we don't want it left in the comments, because then I might not be able to reply. Send me a private message here on YouTube if you're getting an error, and I'll see if I can help you. But uh, mostly what you want to do when you have an error is go to zombie modding. Dot com. So that's the that's really where you want to go if you're having errors because over here is where all the experts hang out and they'll and you can just post a topic. Make sure you have an account though. You have to have an account. See, there's my sweet account. <laughs> um, if you if you just post it on here, these guys will tell you will help you or they'll give you a link to a tutorial on how to fix it or whatever. So this is really really helpful area and you can just post if you have a question on something or if you need help with whatever. So it's a nice it's a nice website for there to be. So anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll hope to see you on the next videos because, remember, I'm going to show you how to do everything you need to to get your Zombies map up and running with perks, mystery box, pack-a-punch, you know, zombies rising out of the ground, zombie dogs, all that stuff. So we'll hope to see you next time, and thanks for watching. This would be ZK signing off.